So the question becomes, how do we build all these great automatic buttons? Let's have a look. First, we navigate to Studio. The buttons we saw were tied to the contact record. In this case, these action buttons are built using fields. And there's a field type called action button. Let's look at the in-person meeting action buttons. We go to configure buttons, and this shows the fields that get created and the fields and actions that get taken. What action happens when you have a general inquiry? Well, you're creating a record versus assigning a record, composing an email, merging a document, or opening a URL. Those are the options. Then what module are we going to use? All the different modules in Sugar CRM become available. In this instance, we're building an in-person meeting, so we're going to use the meetings module. We can pre-select fields with values already in them, such as the status of the meeting will be marked held, the subject will be marked general inquiry, and the invitation in the meeting will be a member in the branch. You can see the other easy buttons or action buttons are right here, such as add a product, card services. So these buttons are very simple to build, require no code whatsoever.